A unique music class in St. John's is bringing parents and their kids together at an early age. The program allows little ones to find their voice through music, and the early evidence shows it's helping. CTV's Garrett Berry explains. Tap, tap, friendly. Graduation day for some of the youngest musicians you'll ever see. This class starts them early. I've had children as young as five weeks come in. I've had some parents ask before they even have their child if they can get on our wait list. It's backed by research that shows early exposure to songs and banging on beat helps not only with musical pattern recognition, but speech and infant communication, like pointing at things or waving goodbye. The brain is just growing substantially in the first five years. Parents and guardians are seeing changes in their little drummers. We enrolled her in, in this class too, just to try and bring her out of that shyness, and it's helped a great deal. And she has a lot of energy, so she's kind of doing her own thing here, but she's uh, playing and interacting with kids. But it's designed to help parents too, to help them make connections in what can be a lonely postpartum period. We were in a couple, like, just every day, we'd go find a group wherever we could. Mostly for me at the beginning, <laughs> and then now it's for him because he gets to socialize. The program founder knows that need well. I started this business because I was one of those moms who needed that connection, needed to get out of the house. COVID had just hit at the time, and I was like, I need to create something where parents can get out of the house, socialize their kids, socialize herself. Groups like this are getting more popular across the country. This fall, classes here are getting much bigger. She's hired six new teachers and got the keys to a new space for her business, all to keep up with surging demand. If they can take their joy from infancy right up until when they're even like, I guess when they're adults, I mean, that's that's the goal. Gare Perry, CTV News, St. John's.